Is hell an ad baculum? The idea of hell is found in some religions and can only be argued for within the philosophical types of conversations. Reasons for its existence or the possibility that it could exist could be argued for only in the philosophical realm currently. It might be true that one day science might be able to find such a place or discover its whereabouts, but that day is not today. Depending on what religion's definition of hell you choose, the answer to this question will change. It is important, therefore, to define what you mean by hell. Once you've answered these questions, the next question to ask is if you're pro or con. Are you for hell being an ad baculum, or are you against the idea that hell might be an ad baculum? Once you have decided if you're for or against, you can make your arguments based upon this decision. For my definition of hell, I'm going to say that it is a very bad place, a place of eternal torment. Thus, it is a place one wants to avoid. Secondly, I'm going to suggest that the idea of hell is put into practice as a ad baculum to force people to ignore good evidence in favor of this fallacy and appeal to fear. If you don't believe that this is true, you will go to hell. Because it is a bad thing, you want to avoid it. Thus, you will believe the conclusion without any further argumentation. In this example, I'm going to say that hell is indeed a bad place to go. But it is a warning. If you don't do this, this will be the consequence. Therefore, you shouldn't do this. But there are other arguments why you should do this, and there's other arguments why you shouldn't do this. The conclusion is not based fully upon this one single concept. Thus, it is not an ad baculum. This is a complex question and is a good example of why complex questions must be broken down. We must answer the important question of what we mean by the word hell and what argument for or against it we're giving in the first place. If one doesn't believe in hell's existence, then it doesn't matter if it's an abalium or not. Even if one does successfully show that it's an abalium, it might be that hell still exists, Simply showing that the idea of it or the application of the usage of it is an abalium does not necessarily negate the existence of such a place. One might flesh out their argument to include that if the creator who made hell is a fair creator, he would not use hell in the abalium sense. Then, if they can prove hell is an abalium, they have succeeded in demonstrating that the creator cannot be fair based upon these conditions. Again, that might not negate the existence of the creator himself, it just simply shows that the creator is unfair, if the argument is successful. Like most philosophical questions, we are left with the so what question. Who really cares if it's an abalium or not? We can't disprove or prove its existence after all, so what's the point in even debating about it? If you're asking that question, then you haven't been paying very good attention to these videos. The whole purpose of philosophical debate is one can argue for things or against things. Within the realm of philosophy, it is true that anything is potentially possible. But one has to give arguments for why that is so. Similarly, one might have to give an argument of why it isn't so. Within that argument, they might be able to use the abalium as a reason why they think that something doesn't exist because it is committing this fallacy that is illogical. And a logical creator wouldn't use an illogical argument. Therefore, the creator can't be logical, and if it's an illogical creator, it cannot exist. If one is successful in showing this, one can demonstrate through argumentation that no such creator exists at all. Or at least if one does exist, he's illogical, irrational, or unfair. 
any of these arguments might win you the case if you are arguing against the creator. Arguing against the idea of hell might help you to make such an argument. Is hell an ad baculum? The simplest answer you can give is, it depends. It depends upon your definition, it depends upon your point of view of it, and it depends upon your argumentation that you're going to present.